how come you're on slightly agree? Uh, yeah, I think I'm on slightly agree. Science can help give evidence to solve moral problems. Like, they can help you, because sometimes our moral sense is misguided. Like, we can think we know what's right and wrong, but we don't know if that's really right. So I don't think science can completely solve. You have to leave, you have to leave it a bit, but I think it can really help you in, like, helping your moral sense. So where are we? Uh... What park is this? Regent's Park. Excellent. And what city are we in? London. What topic do you, what's, what's of interest to you to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. That's a good- Science or something? I don't know, it's always a good answer. We can talk about science. What do, what do you want to talk about? Science or math. Science or math? That is very impressive. Do you like math? Yeah. Do you like math? Yeah. Do you like science? Yeah. Do you like science? Yeah. Okay, I can see I'm with my favorite people now. Okay. Science can help us solve questions. Yeah. Okay, so go to where you... Wow, okay, great. What questions can science help us solve? Yeah, it can help us solve basically, yeah, I think that like science can help you solve basically like any que it's the best way we have to find quest find just general questions, it works the most for like anything you, most things you care to ask. You, there are some things that science can't answer, but like if, there, oh, if there's well, an answer, yeah. Okay, so what questions can science not answer? Uh, they can't answer, like for example, science can't tell, like if you have some feelings, they might be somehow determined by science, but not completely. I think there's a bit of, yeah, thing that science can't totally answer. So you need to be able to understand it as human beings. And do you do science? Yeah. What kind of science do you do? Uh, normal science. Oh, and um, do you use, <laughs> what what kind of things are normal science? Like, what's an example of that? Uh, like doing worksheets at school. Oh, do you like school? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go back to the neutral question. Let's go back to neutral math. Okay. There are some questions science cannot solve. Go. Um, no, never mind. Are you just following me? Okay, so this is a very important question now. What can science not solve? Well, yeah. first, what, what can science solve? Let's do that one first. Uh, like general questions about our universe. Let's say you want to know, like, I don't know, when the Milky Way forms, your science can help you give an answer. And like many things about the world around us, science can tell us. Do you agree with him? Yeah. He's okay, good. What and it's okay to disagree if you want. Okay, so what can sci what can we not solve with science? Yeah, you cannot solve some things to do with like emotions or things like that. I went on slightly agree because science can help you solve. Like there's always some sort of scientific reason, but I don't think I think you need some more skills to fully understand okay. some things. I want to talk about that. Go back to the neutral line. When someone says to you, I have a moral question. What do they mean by that? What's a moral problem? Like, what would an example of a, of a question about morality be? Oh, yeah, so a, a moral problem is something like it conflicts with like your inner self of, what, of what's right. Like, let's say you want to steal something. It's a bit of a moral problem because if you don't think stealing is right. But on the other hand, you want... Yeah, so like, for example, that. But it can be anything that conflicts your like... Okay, so here we're gonna do another one. Science can solve moral problems. Go. Okay, all right. So how come you're on slightly agree? 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna slightly agree. Science can help give evidence to solve moral problems. Like they can help you because sometimes our moral sense is misguided. Like we can think we know what's right and wrong, but we don't know if that's really right. So I don't think science can completely solve. You have to leave. You have to leave it a bit. But I think it can really help you in like helping your moral sense. How do we figure out if something is right or wrong? Uh, I think we sort of need to look at our gut feeling, but also we need to uh, we need to like investigate and see like the effects it will have, like if it will like hurt people or like help people and just yeah. What if two different people have gut feelings about different things? How do we know which 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 per so say we have person A and person B and they have different gut feelings about something? How do we know who's right and who's wrong? Uh, I think if they have different gut feelings, there isn't necessarily like a right or wrong answer. You can't like objectively say this person is right, this person is wrong. But you can see which person can be like more right, can be, yeah, so you can sort of exam, weigh it up. Like in a court case, you can't say like no one wins, but. Okay, so yeah. if, it, if you can't tell by someone's gut feelings you can't adjudicate you can't tell the di who's right or who's wrong by their gut feelings then why should we listen to gut feelings at all uh, because gut feelings help us we would be nowhere if we have just facts but we need something to use that fact so we need something to build on it to yeah but well, what if what if what if someone has a fact and their gut feeling tells them something Two, two different people have different gut feelings, but they have the same facts. And that causes them to act differently. Yes, yeah, so I think they should realign their gut feeling based on the facts. Like, I don't know, let's say you thought, like, the sky is red. You have a fact, you see the sky is blue. Then you realign that gut feeling to the sky is blue based on the facts. So your gut feeling, someone's gut feelings can be wrong. They can they can be proved they can be proved depends what it is if it's like a gut feeling about a fact but if it's about a moral issue where it's really like you can't say it's right or wrong then yeah, it's gonna be. What are some things that we can be sure about that are right or wrong? Well, we can be sure about depend. There's not much because it's just depending on on how we say. Like if we say one plus one equals two, then it could be like, like I don't know. Let's say next day we invent three equals two, then you could say that's wrong. But based on our, if we take like a specific set of rules, and we can say something is wrong. Can someone be wrong about what's beautiful? I think it's it's their sense of what's of what's beautiful. So you can't like decide someone's sense if someone if something is beautiful, like someone might find other things. Can someone be wrong about whether or not something tastes good or bad? Yeah, I think they can also, because it's like internal feelings. You can't know, you can't know, like I can't know exactly what she is thinking and what her tastes are. So to what extent does science inform us about beauty, say art, moral feelings? Can science inform us about these things? Yeah, I think that's the key for it can inform us but it can't it can't totally decide like it can help it can help you because it can change what you think is is beautiful or base if you see facts then it can shift your moral it can shift your feeling. Can science lead us to become compassionate or kind? Yeah, I think it can because it help it helps you figure out how to help more people so you can be be more compassionate and kind in an informed way but you also have to have like in your nature being compassionate and kind like you can have the facts of how to be the most compassionate person in the world but if you don't use that then what if someone does something they think is a good thing but they have a bad reason for doing it in other words they don't have the right facts but they do a good thing uh, but I I think it's not necessarily a, it's not necessarily a good thing if the facts don't, if the facts don't back up. But it doesn't always have to be supported by some facts. But I think, but I think they should try to be like guided by reason instead of just like blindly picking it. Is it possible?
what, what, what would you rather have as a, as a personal guide in your life? Would you rather have reason or would you rather have emotion? Uh, I think a com I think a combination of both is needed. You can't really like do one without the other. Emotion, you can just have emotion. You won't do any. And if you just have cold hard reason without any emotion and and like human feeling, what does that make you? You like won't be able to make those like kind decisions. You just be essentially a robot. How old are you? Twelve. What do you want to do for when you get older? I don't know. Maybe become like a scientist or some. Yeah. Probably. Well, thank you so much for your time. Okay, Was that you. fun? Yeah. What? Thank you. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. My son is showing very worrying utilitarian tendencies and relativist amazing. tendencies. We need to work on the on your on, on Emmanuel. Thank you so much. Wonderful. 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 Thank you very much. Bye.